Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today is Face Beat Friday. The best day of the week. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Every Friday we do a makeup video, whether it's a review, a tutorial, uh, whatever it is. We do it on Fridays on this day. My name is B, so let's just go ahead and jump into what we're going to be doing today. Today I'm going to be comparing the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation to my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. This will be a wear test. I've never worn this foundation before, so I'm excited to test it out and see how it does on my skin after a full day of wear. All right? The I Am Magic Foundation is a full coverage foundation, so some of the pictures I've seen, it can look a little bit cakey, and I just want to make sure that it doesn't look that way on my skin. So we're going to test it out. So without any further ado, let's jump on into the video. So I have two Juvia's Place foundations, and I decided to swatch them. So here, I don't know if you can really see it on camera. There we go. Um, this is Togo and this is Kenya. They both look pretty nice against my tint, my skin. Um, Togo has a neutral olivey undertone. Um, Kenya is a little bit warmer. So I buffed out both sides. This side is Togo and this side is Kenya. I like the Kenya side just a little bit more, but it's just a slightly bit light. So I'm probably going to mix the two and see see if I like how the how it comes out. So let's start with my Juvia's Play side. Again, I'm going to mix. Again, I'm going to mix the Kenya and Togo. I'm going to use a little bit more Kenya. I'm just doing a few old dabs of Kenya. And now this is the Togo. I'm also going to mix a little bit of that as well. And we'll see if I like the finish. Go on this side. And this is the Fenty 440. Um, for primer, I use Tarte Base Tape for both sides. And already this is giving me really nice coverage like I have barely put anything on really I'm liking the color that it's giving me I'm gonna add a little bit more um, of that Togo color just a little bit more but if you look at it compared to this side already I have very nice coverage and I've used a very little amount um, not even a dime size amount it doesn't have a pump if it had a pump I would tell you but I tell you exactly how many pumps but I would say I've used about a half a dime size amount so maybe a dime size amount would be enough would be more than enough for the entire face I'm also just gonna go ahead and go over my eye just because I'm not doing a lot of um, eye makeup today, so. So I'm going to use a little bit more Fenty because Fenty is a medium to full coverage. I'm going to build it up a little. So I'm going to use a little bit more Fenty than I normally would just because I want it to be full coverage just like the Juvia's Play side. Alright, so this is both sides put on. This side is just a tiny bit lighter and warmer than this side. I, I don't mind the shades of either. I don't mind the shades uh, on both sides. I'm used to this side, but I do like the coverage over here. Um, so far we have a nice set. Um, it's supposed to be a matte finish. It's not super matte yet. Um, it still has a nice little glow to it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer. Instead of using the Fenty 445 concealer like I normally do, because I think that that would give the Fenty side a little bit of an advantage if I used this matching concealer, I'm gonna switch it all the way up and use the Becca concealer in the color Cinnamon. All right, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of powder. I'm gonna use, again, because I don't want to, to, I don't want to give the Fenty side any kind of upper hand. I'm not gonna use my normal Fenty powder. I'm going to use Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm gonna do very little on my eyes, especially because I've already coated it with foundation. I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Nomad palette. I'm not sure if I've used it on the channel yet or not, so we'll use it today. I'm not gonna go into detail about which colors I'm using because it's not about this. If you wanna see a look specifically on the Nomad palette, make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll give you some looks with it because I don't think I've done that on this channel just yet. And sometimes when I'm doing more muted looks, I do like to just go ahead and put my foundation on my lid um, and kind of just, I guess, use that as a base. Um, it's not the proper thing to do, but it's a way for me to cheat a step, especially like if I'm in a rush or something in the morning. Now, would I do this on a client? Probably not. As a matter of fact, no, I wouldn't, but I do it on myself. Sure, why not? For blush, I am going to use the set, uh, the Steve Laurent blush in the color I'm blushing. This is one of my faves. Uh, for highlight, I'm going to use the Nubian, the Nubia by Juvia's Place. This is from the Nubian Highlighters palette. I haven't used these in a while. I'm going to first. Go ahead and do a inner crease highlight, an inner corner highlight. And then I actually have it on my finger. I'm just gonna go ahead and rub it on my nose. I'm gonna tap it right on on my skin there right there and then I'm gonna go back in with the brush and just buff it on into the skin I'm not doing a full contour I'm just going to use a little bit of bronzer and that's just going to be enough for me today I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty bronzer in the color Mocha Mommy This is the um, Plum 
lip liner by the crayon case and she's just a liner um their liners are entered it's a colored pencil so their liners are interchangeable i also use this same color on my eye on my under eye so i'm going to use it on my lip as well this is morphe lipstick in the color seduce And this is the color Candice um, by Juvia's Place. This is the matte finish. So that's it. This is the final look so far just looking at the size. Of course this side is just a shade, shade and a half darker than this side but I don't mind this side at all. Actually I like the um, match. Excuse me. Excuse me I'm recording. Actually, I like the, the match on this side a lot better to my skin. Um, Y'all tell me what you think as far as the shade match. Like I said, this side is a little bit darker, so this is definitely be perfect in the summertime. I am a little bit lighter than usual. It is wintertime, uh, although it's 70 degrees outside, but whatever. Let's not even get on that. Anyway, um, as far as the finish goes, I like the finish. It is, it is matte. Um, but it doesn't feel, it is matte and it is definitely full coverage, but it doesn't feel cakey. A little bit goes a very long way at, as far as coverage. And I'm sure y'all saw that as I was applying it. Once, when looking at them uh, together, just on my skin, they, they both look nice. I do like the coverage of this more on my under eye. I didn't have to use as much concealer on this side as I did this side to get uh, my dark circles covered like I normally do, which is really good. I enjoy that. Um, so yeah, so far, so good. I'm okay with the Dubious Place I Am Magic Foundation. So we're just gonna wear it for the day and I'll be back at the end of the day to tell you my final thoughts. This is nine full hours of wear and to be honest, I'm happy with it. For nine full hours and I don't look super oily or anything and it still holds up to my Fenty side. If anything, it might even hold up better than my Fenty side. I am okay with it. I do have a little bit of separation right up under the eye here, but I mean, that's kind of to be expected, so I'm not tripping about that. Other than that, thumbs up, Juvia, and I don't look cakey. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my last video where I reviewed the Juvia's Place mini palettes. You know, that was a new release by Juvia's Place, and clearly, I support them. Please don't forget to enter into my 500 subscriber giveaway. The giveaway ends January 30th. Go ahead and click this little button on up here so that you can be entered. How do you kick off your sock? Seriously? Excuse me. You don't smile at me. I'm recording. <laughs>